I personally don't make it a secret that I've never been a huge fan of the Arena War DLC. I've always felt that they're just glorified adversary modes that lack the depth something as big as an arena style destruction match should really have. Whether it was because of the limitations or because Rockstar's lack of interest, we'll never know. But one thing about Arena War that annoys me more than the adversary modes is the progression system. Arena War came out around the same time as Red Dead Online was going through its beta phase, and in a way, Arena War can also be seen as a way of Rockstar testing Red Dead Online's role system. The parallels here are pretty obvious. For those unfamiliar, allow me to give you a very quick rundown. In Red Dead Online there are a total of 5 ranks. Each of these have 20 ranks which all contribute to your role and making your journey with it easier. The way you rank them up is by doing the activities for that role, whether that's doing the direct things or side activities inside of free roam matches or anything along those lines. Sound familiar? Arena War works the same way, you rank up your Arena War rank through AP points, which will give you ranks, which will then unlock trade prices so you don't have to spend $400,000 on a boost, for example. In theory, this sounds great, however, the game modes themselves aren't that appealing to play, at least in my opinion. Then you have the fact that there are a thousand ranks to go through and the progression speed of a snail. In case you're wondering, every 50 ranks or so, you tend to also get some special vehicles like a taxi, all the way up to like a space docker, something that was in the game and got duplicated back in 2013 and then taken away. Still a shame because it's quite a cool vehicle. Even with triple AP weeks, it is still painfully slow to rank up. I know a few people within my own community who have been going for rank 1000 in Arena War and even after all this time, they're still not even halfway. The way to get the Gogo Monkey Blista is generally boosted because of how long it takes to even do it legit. And even with the ranks themselves, they're being boosted. Because Arena War itself obviously isn't really that popular and well, ranking up really just takes way too long. The Gogo Monkey Blista for example, I believe you need to get 200 wins in a row because you need to hit a certain rank and the only way to do that is by getting consecutive wins which is a pain in the ass, especially in the later ranks. So, generally speaking, people are boosting that, which is a great shame because it sounds like a good challenge, but people just refuse to do it because it just seems to be an impossible thing in a game mode that doesn't really get played all that much. Having said all this though, it doesn't mean that it's not fixable. Rockstar could increase the amount of AP you can earn to a more balanced amount, or they could give more ways of earning AP. In Red Dead Online, there are daily objectives that you can earn a little bit more roll XP as well. They could do the same thing with Arena War. Attach challenges to Arena War for more AP boost, but I think we all know that this is unlikely to happen, as Rockstar doesn't like going back to older content and fix it for whatever reason. So instead, let's talk about what they could do in the future, whether it's in GTA Online or that other game some people think it's a myth at this point. The reason why I talked about all the stuff I mentioned before is because Rockstar already has this system in place, and they continued with it in Red Dead Online. But in GTA Online, they just never continued on with it and just kind of left it in the dust. Probably because the only thing that they tend to offer you for doing an activity is a trade prize which is fine for doing something like a high setup or anything along those lines, but in Arena War, it just didn't work. Arena War had the potential to give those long-term players a new ranking system to work towards, aside from the regular ranking system that stops being relevant after rank 135. Having another ranking system in place in a game mode, business or anything along those lines will give players a new goal to strive towards, because aside from money there isn't really a long term kind of goal to go towards. Those players out there like myself and many others who have everything still enjoy the game but don't really have anything to go for anymore. It's one of the things that RDO does well, ironically enough. Because with the 5 roles that you have, you can go through all of them and then also unlock stuff to either make you better in the role or make you just simply look better with the unique stuff that you can unlock through those roles. GTA Online doesn't really have that because you can just simply dash out the 25% premium that you pay for the buy it now price rather than just bothering to go through 50 arena war ranks just because you would like to have that certain spike on the front of your car. The only vehicle that you actually have to unlock by doing something else than just opening up your phone and buying is the Shatoro. 
Even though you have to play only one match of Deadline, it still is a nice incentive to both play the mode and also get rewarded for it. GT Online right now is feeling rather dry. It's no secret that the game needs to contain fresh content to keep people interested, especially in a time where the event weeks give us three discounts and a kiss on the cheek. And well, have a nice week and out to the door. Having more long-term goals to go for and different activities would be great because it would incentivize people to play something else. Let me just try to come up with something out of the blue and see how you like it. Win 3 races, get 30 kills in deathmatches, capture 10 capture points inside of capture modes. The reward? $250,000, some RP and some XP towards your activity role and a special livery you have unlocked through this challenge. And or a t-shirt or whatever. Call it a weekly challenge if anything. Give people a reason to log into your game and start going towards certain activities, etc, etc. Something like this is kind of already happening in event weeks where they're going like, hey, do a thing in Doomsday and we'll give you this or we'll give you that. But like something a little bit more long term instead of just one tiny little thing, you know, make us do the five stun jumps, for example. That was a cool little event. People need more incentive these days to come back to the game and stick around, especially considering that every single online game nowadays has a season pass, weekly challenges, daily challenges, and everything under the sun to make sure that you will pick their game over others. Weekly events are happening. Look at, for example, at Destiny and Call of Duty, Apex. There's always something going on. And these are just examples of recently played games from me. GTA Online has event weeks that we generally have seen before. And the only time the community considers them to be any sort of good is when Bunker is double cash or you earn more money in the same connectivity that you've played over the past seven years. Ironically enough, Retin Online has generally got more going for it in the event weeks than GTA Online. If only for the limited time clothing that they release every week, it's still something to give people a reason to check back on the game every single week, rather than going to the newswire and seeing that there is Motor Wars triple cash for an entire month and they're like, yeah, <laughs> I think I'm good. I'm just gonna go back to play uh, some Destiny. They released a new season last week. <laughs> What I'd personally like to see is Rockstar going back to the arena reward system and tweak it in a significant way to make it more rewarding to play. Or at the very least have the same system of having a separate rank for a future activity. That way those that are rank 135 and above will have some more stuff to work towards. Having goals in online games these days is very much a must. And with Expanded and Hands coming sometime this year, I generally hope that they will use the dev time that they have for some more significant changes to make the game feel fresher for those who have been playing since day one. A system such as Dread and Online's role system would definitely be a welcome change for me, as long as the rewards for them are going to be sufficient. Of course, I would love to know what you think down in the comment section down below. Would you like to see a system that I have just suggested or do you completely disagree with it and have a better idea? Let me know in those comments down below. But with all that said and with all that done, that was it for this one. Thank you all so very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more. And if you really like what you see on the channel, consider becoming a member like Chloe, Robert, Captain Price, A Loose Fire and Dr. Strange Love. Join them by clicking the join button down below. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all later.